moving to plant hormones or phytohormones these are naturally occurring organic chemicals naturally occurring organic chemical or chemical substances that bring about control and coordination control and co ordination in plants that means growth related activities these are of two categories see these are plant growth substances as well as plant growth regulators which we mean inhibitors so they pr uh, broadly are grouped into two categories these we say promoter and these we say inhibitor okay and in our study we have auxin as a promoter gibberellins as promoter cytokinin as promoter ethene as promoter and aba abscisic acid as inhibitor moving to all these in detail now what these two when we talk about the plant growth promoters we say auxin first of all what it helps in it helps in cell enlargement and cell differentiation this is the main one present in the body of all the plants it's naturally occurring so its example is indole 3 acetic acid as a naturally occurring auxin promote this is the first point second point is also promote stem and fruit growth clear third one is induce parthenocarpy what does it mean parthenocarpy means formation of seedless fruit seedless fruit but without fertilization this is a new term for you so you will be studying this term always in higher classes ye 12th class mein hum padhate hain it means parthenocarpy is a kind of special technique where seedless fruits are no doubt formed but without fertilization this happens in number of plants then second is gibberellins promote cell enlargement again the same because it is a promoter so it will automatically help in enlargement and cell differentiation but these two are done enlargement and differentiation in the presence of auxin hormone second it also promotes growth in stem and fruit third what is different it is doing from that auxin it give rise to rosette plants rosette plants means the plants which show profuse leaf development okay and uh, like in a rose there are so many petals that means rosette plant it shows profuse development but that is with a very short internode these that means very short stalk and so many leaves on to it short internode then is cytokinin the third one is cytokinin in cytokinin 
it is mainly responsible for cell division cell division breaking dormancy what is dormancy when the seeds they are in their unfavorable condition and these cannot show further growth meaning uh, unki chote chote twigs ya fir unki uh, ek condition break nahi hoti because the outside conditions are unfavorable so they remain inside the seed coat itself do not show further growth and development and cytokine helps in breaking that dormancy then promote opening of stigmata promote opening of stomata along with that delays aging okay so cytokine it promotes cell division it breaks dormancy it promotes opening of stomata and it delays aging so what it does it promotes fruit growth this one is particularly cytokine it promotes fruit growth also moving to the last two ethene as well as ab ethene ethene is responsible for growth and ripening of fruits so this is the only gaseous hormone second breaking dormancy it break dormancy because it breeds in ripening then uh, aba abscisic acid this is a growth inhibitor so it does the reverse promotes dormancy in seeds in buds and inhibit growth kya kar raha hai sari conditions ko reverse kar raha hai growth mein to help nahi kar raha hai then also helps in promoting closure of stomata agar stomata band ho jayenge to plant to grow karta hi nahi automatically promoting dormancy ki and bahar kya hai unfavorable conditions hai you have to stay indoor and you have to work out with whatever is available to you affect wilting of leaves so what it basically promoting falling of leaves and senescence senescence hota hai towards death helping the plant to move towards death usko ek old age leke aana s e n e s c e n c e that is promoting senescence in leaves that means bringing old age in leaves and cytokinin it brings in uh, new growth it helps the cell to divide it helps the cell to grow to become new and this one is automatically bringing old age in the plant this is about the plant hormones thank you